First, let's find an image using Google Search. Try to avoid images with too much shading and gradient, as these don't work so well. Look for more clip art style artwork. This one is perfect. Let's download it. High quality artwork is essential when trying to auto digitize. Thankfully, Wilcom Embroidery Studio integrates CorelDRAW for this. Let's place our image and size it. When looking closer, you can see the image is actually pretty low resolution. Thankfully, Coral has a solution in PowerTrace. PowerTrace automatically removes the background and turns the low resolution artwork into vector quality. Coral is tightly integrated with Wilcom, even allowing matching of near colors in your own thread palette. This is the magic button, turning graphics into embroidery automatically. Now we have a stitch file, we can play through to look for any obvious errors. Not bad, but in this case, the black outline needs to be resequenced to the end. And maybe we want to change the stitch angle on the face. And a personal preference, adding a little bit more pull compensation on the outline. Let's save it in case we want to edit later. And remember the thread palette matching? In this case, each needle number directly relating to my Madeira classic thread codes, making setup much faster. Embroidery Studio can shortcut the process of saving the correct file format for your machine. In this case, sending to a shared folder, which is accessible with Happy Japan's free networking software. So let's give it a run. Maybe a bit faster. Not bad for two minutes work. It's not going to replace traditional digitizing just yet, but for these sort of designs it's perfect.